This video is to explain how to log in and update your photos on Camping Ninja. So let's have a look at a mythical campsite called Wonderful Campsite. Now this campsite is run by John, it's based in Little Walton in Worcester and as you can see from the details there, there's just one photo uh, listed on, on the profile. The descriptions are okay, all the details on there are up to date, but there's just one photo on there. So John wants to make sure that he can upload some different photos. As you can see at the top, this is a login section for returning campers. The campsite login for campsite owners is at the bottom of any page on Camping Ninja. Simply scroll to the bottom, underneath the help section, you'll see a bar there called campsite login. Click this and then enter the details below. This will be the email address you use to register at the beginning, plus the password. If you've forgotten it, just click forgotten your password and we'll send it through to you. In the campsite management area, you'll see down the left hand side all the different things at your disposal. View your bookings, pitch availability. What we're going to have a look at today is a photo gallery and upload some extra pictures. As you can see, John just has the one main photo, but he's got unlimited pictures on Camping Ninja. So let's see if we can add some more for him. Just click browse under additional photos and this basically opens up the files on your computer. It might be displayed differently for different computers and different systems. What you need to do is find the photos on your computer, open them up and then just pick them and then just click open and then we can uh, upload them to your profile on Camping Ninja. The files there and you'll see there's space for adding a caption. Different ways you can do this, you can type it in uh, manually or I'll show you a different method in the end. Just click upload photo and after a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the file the photos photos there. So let's add another one. Let's add family canoeing this time on the mythical campsite and what I've done here rather than retyping it all I've done is copy and pasted the text into the caption below and you'll see why having words in the caption is important later. I'm going to add four photos here today and what you want to do is just make sure that they give a real flavor of what what life is like on your your campsite for someone that's, that wants to make a booking with you. If you're selling grass pitches, uh, a wonderful campsite with tent pitches on there, steer clear of sending putting uh, on pictures of rows and rows of static caravans for example but don't be afraid to add your facilities on there um, your washrooms your shower facilities children's play areas things like that uh, your shop that you might have on site anything that you want that's really going to to sell the idea to somebody of staying on your on your campsite so there you go I've added four photos onto the profile now um, so all you need to do is just log out and then let's have a look at what they look at from a customer's point of view. So a camper that's coming along um, thinking of making a booking at your, your campsite. So along they come, they might search by location, postcode, on a map, all different ways, or actually just put in the name of the campsite like we've done here. Let's have a look at how it looks now. Okay, so we've got the main photo there, which is at Edithport Anytime and there you go you can see the four photos displayed there and then they're now live for um, campers all over the world to make a booking at your site and as you can see it, it, it makes it look a lot better a lot more vibrant you can also see when the the cursor hovers over the screen it also shows the text that you wrote in down below and that's how you log in and upload photos